Uh, welcome to the uh, Prospect Environmental uh, BMS trail at demonstration. Uh, we'll start off with um, the actual setup of the process from unhooking the trailer. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll make sure the actual trailer brake is uh, applied. So we'll do that by that. Making... So our next step is going to be involved in dropping the actual uh, trailer legs. So we'll do that. And bring the actual trailer arm over. Like so. And apply the actual trailer leg down. When you're happy with it, we'll go around and uh, we'll go to the left hand side of the actual trailer, the VMS box, and we'll raise the actual signage. So here we are at the control box of the VMS sign. Uh, we'll start with raising the actual sign itself to an appropriate height where we can uh, rotate the sign. So we'll do so here, here at the hydraulic switch. Sign up. And we'll just go to the back here to the rotation lock and unlock it. As you can see, we'll raise the arm up. That unlocks the, the sign itself and we can swivel around to our appropriate signage display. So from here we'll just lock the rotation lock again and we can continue to raise the sign to appropriate height of course, of course making sure of any uh, no obstruction above the actual sign so no power lines of course. So we'll do so right now. So our next process is turning the sign on, which we'll do so here, located in the VMS control box. And we'll grab the tablet out, like so, and flip her on. While that's doing that, I'll just run through. So here we have the actual voltage, the current display for the batteries. Now the batteries are located at the back two compartments of the actual trailer itself, as you can see there. And we also have the hydraulic pump located here next to the control box. Right. So in our voltage meter we have 12.7 uh, volts. Now fully charged it should read between 13 and 14 volts and if it goes below 12 volts and that's when we need to charge. So there's a 240 volt charger located in the back box here with the batteries and uh, charge up from there. So as you can see on our display we have two icons listed here. So using the stylus, we'll double click on the screen keyboard and we'll follow with the shortcut to the traffic LED icon. Double click. So from there we've got our username which is an admin and our password which is 88. Enter. So this brings out our display page. So this will uh, bring up what we put here, we'll go up on the sign. So we'll just choose one here. Just randomly, we'll say 40 speed limit, and we'll load that, hitting the load button, just drag our keyboard across, and then we just hit send, and close, now that will just bring, that will bring the display up on the sign, as you can see, okay, so the sign is now complete, so we'll go back through, and we'll turn off our application, like so. Turn off. Now the sign will still display even when the tablet's turned off. So we can now actually put it back in its appropriate position. Like so. And close the box. Once the box is now actually uh, closed, we'll now actually apply appropriate locks to uh, prevent any vandalism, of course. And uh, we may also want to go through and either lock the wheels uh, with a chainage or take the wheels off, whatever suits. 